Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I haven't done a guide or a tutorial in a very long time, so for today's video, I thought I'd show you guys a cool little Symmetra trick, which I'm sure a lot of you don't know about, some of you might, but it literally will make your life playing as Symmetra a lot easier. Now this trick involves turret bombing and I'm sure a lot of you who play Symmetra already know what this is. If you don't, it's basically a tech where Symmetra can place the three turrets on the ground and teleport them all at once. Now turret bombing can be really useful especially when things are chaotic or you get a good flank on the enemy team and you surprise the hell out of them. However, there are a lot of situations where you might not place your teleporter correctly so it misses your turrets or the enemy team sees where you are so they destroy your turrets before you can even teleport them. And that can be really inefficient and really be a big bummer when you're playing Symmetra given the fact that her turrets have a 10 second cooldown and everything adds up so in the end you waste a lot of time if you don't turret bomb quickly and effectively. So before I talk about this tech that I discovered, here are three simple tips to help you turret bomb like a pro. Firstly, when you're turret bombing from even flat ground, try and imagine your turrets being in front of Symmetra's feet because your teleporter will be placed slightly in front of you. If you stand right on top of your turrets before you put your teleporter down, it's going to be placed way too far in front and it's going to miss your turrets completely. If you're turret bombing from high ground and you put your turrets on the edge of whatever you're standing on, then it's fine to just go and stand on top of your turrets before TPing because your teleporter will also land directly on top of them. Lastly, if you're teleporting from high ground and you've found that you've placed your turrets way too far in and you don't have vision of where you're teleporting them, then just do a little hop forwards and teleport while you're jumping and that should catch your turrets as your TP falls down. I know that you guys probably know these things already, but you know, it's good to keep them in mind and also practice makes perfect, so just keep practicing your turret bombs and in no time you'll be doing them like a pro. Now let's talk about a trick that's related to all this um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys don't know this judging by the response from Twitter when I posted it, but you can actually put Symmetra's turrets on walls and obstacles. Wait what? Say that again? No, but for real, what I mean is if you put your turrets on a wall and you place your teleporter right next to the wall where you placed your turrets, it will actually teleport them as well. This is something that I never see any Symmetra players do and it's actually such a game changer. It not only protects your turrets from incoming damage when you're preparing to turret bomb, it effectively lets you set up your turret bomb before the enemy team has even begun their push, and it sort of gives you an extra 3 turrets if you think about it with no cooldown when your first 3 turrets have been destroyed. On top of all that, the enemy team doesn't know that you have turrets behind a wall waiting to be teleported, so when you do it, it's instant and they will not expect it, trust me. Here are a few shot clips of me playing on my old account and showing you guys what you can do with this tech and hopefully you get some ideas for potential turret placements. Get you asleep behind. Number seven. What's up, what's up, what's up? I also recorded this gameplay today on Paris, which is the new map released on the live servers, showing you guys how this tech can save you a lot of time and maximize the effectiveness of your turrets. So first up, I set up my three turrets on this little wall here, and I know that they're going to be safe from damage because the enemy team cannot shoot through the wall. By doing this, the cooldown on my turrets are already refreshing, and by the time the enemy team pushes through the choke, I'll have another three turrets ready to go. So now all I have to do is wait for them to actually push, and my plan is to teleport the turrets right on top of the car. As I said, I have another 3 turrets ready to go, so I'll just do another turret bomb. Unfortunately, they get destroyed instantly, but you guys get the point. Anyway, that's all for this really simple yet effective trick. I'm pretty surprised that no one else has really talked about it before. 
I'm sure there are some Metro players who already know about this and they're probably going to be like, oh, I already know this, why are you making a video on it? But you know, if I can help people play better and get more enjoyment out of the hero, then why not? Just before I end this video, while turret bombs are fun and all, they're not practical or useful 24-7, so look at the situation and play depending on what your team needs. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, then please subscribe and turn on the notifications. I upload every week and I would love to see you around. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!